Welcome back. You're tuning into your Feel Good Breakfast Show. This is Expresso only on SABC3. Thank you for joining us so early on this Thursday morning. Now, next up on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, two-wheel motor racer Brad Binder became a South African hero when he went on to lift the Moto3 Championship trophy in September this year. Now, Brad is back on home soil to enjoy some much-needed time off before heading over to Spain to prep for the new Moto2 season. And he joins us uh, in studio this morning just to chat about his very successful year. Ladies and gentlemen, Brad Binder, give it up. Yes, 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 yes. Welcome, my brother. Officially, welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show, man. How are you doing? I'm doing well. And yourself? Yeah, you? not too bad, man. Well, we were, as you can see, everyone is very, very excited to have you here. Um, was this pretty much the response that you that you got uh, when you got back to South Africa? <laughs> yeah, you know, the response I got when I got home was incredible. I mean, I didn't expect it at all, to be honest. But I mean, it's all, it's all cool. It's awesome to see how much people are enjoying it as much as I am. Yeah, absolutely, man. And the fact that, I mean, you are considered like a South African hero. You're flying that flag high as well. I mean... Was this something that you kind of expected? I mean, you obviously worked towards a point like this, but you, did you actually expect to lift that trophy at the end of the day? You know, going into the season, I worked so hard. And I woke up every morning with the goal to become the world champion this year. And uh, I managed to wrap up the title with four races to go. And then after that, I was kind of, now what do I do, you know? Because yeah. that was my goal, and that's what I woke up for in the morning. And... Uh, I mean, when it was all done and dusted, it was an amazing feeling, that's for sure. Yeah, no, absolutely. And here you can stand at the moment successful. What a great 2016 it has been. I mean, if you reflect back, I mean, what has this year really meant to you as a sportsman? You know, for me, this year has definitely made all the sacrifices worth it. You know, uh, I started racing a world championship in 2012, and it's, it was tough. I mean, at the beginning, yeah. I really didn't do too well, and every year just getting a little bit, a little yeah. bit better. And... Um, to finally win a few races and, and wrap up the championship was an incredible feeling and yeah. something I'll never forget. Now, I think a lot of people don't get to see the side where you physically, I mean, you train obviously a lot. There's a lot of prep work going in, but people see you doing your thing on the track. They see you lifting the trophy. I mean, what goes into the preparation, really? You know, it's, it's a bit different. I mean, honestly, a lot of people just think you get on the bike and turn the throttle. Yeah. But uh, the actual fact is we wake up every morning, I'd go cycling every morning, afternoons in the gym. You know, it's really, really physical actually. And yeah. uh, the fitter you are, the better it is obviously. Yeah. And talk to me about the broken arm, man. For those of uh, viewers who don't know what exactly happened, I mean, what happened and also how's the recovery going, man? Yeah, unfortunately on the last day of testing on my new Moto2 bike, I ran out of talent and uh, <laughs> was sliding down the track and my, my bike flicked on my arm. So, um, yeah. I'm looking at another four or five weeks chilling right. in a cast, and then hopefully I can start prepping for yeah. next year. But at least it's in your off time right now. I mean, how is the preparation going despite the, the broken arm? Well, I mean, I couldn't have broken my arm at a better time, to be honest. <laughs> you know, any time that's not in the season is a good time. So, uh, unfortunately, I can't do too much at the moment. Yeah. But... You know, every every day it's getting a little bit better. But I think it's great. I mean, take some off time. I mean, it's been a very busy year for you, 2016. Um, before we let you go, man, some quick fire questions. You know, we always like to do this just to get to know you guys a little bit better. So, so answer the first thing that comes to your mind. All right, see if you can quick. You know, I know it's early, but you know, let's try this. Um, if you weren't a MotoGP racer, what would you be? I work for Dad. <laughs> <laughs> You'd work for Dad. Doing what? I have no idea. Probably. <laughs> He doesn't want me, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's a dad who loves you. Don't worry. It's all cool. What's your favorite pre-racing hype song? Um, I don't listen to music for a race. Is it focus only? That's it. <laughs> favorite race destination? Malaysia. Malaysia? Nice. Is it, what is it about Malaysia? Uh, the track's awesome. The track's awesome. Right. Ultimate celebrity date? Oof. <laughs> Tough one. Selena Gomez. All right. <laughs> yes, we just spoke about her yesterday on the show. I mean, she, did, she, had a, she had a phenomenal 2016 as well. Um, what's the best thing about being a MotoGP racer? I suppose you get to see the world. That's see the it. world and uh, meet a whole lot of new people. Awesome. Well, Brad, thank you very much for joining us this morning, man. And uh, all the best for the prep going into the Moto2 season. And I really hope that 2017 is going to treat you as well as 2016 did, man. Congratulations once thank again. Thank you very much. Thanks really so appreciate much, you sir. being here this morning. Now, if you are a fan of all things Brad Binder, you can catch him tomorrow morning at the Cape Sun Hotel in Cape Town for a question and answer session. For all of the information, you can check out the MotoGP Brad Binder Breakfast event on Facebook.